voice very loudly. I'm praying the Holy Ghost right now. Remember, his language always instigates him. His language always attracts him. Language is affinity. Language is attraction. Speak his language. Attract him to yourself. Align him to you and align yourself to him. Somebody raise your voice properly. Don't wait for your feelings. Exercise your faith. Faith brings the Holy Ghost down. Somebody raise your voice if you can raise your hand as well as a mark of your surrenderedness. Raise your hand. Raise your voice. Do it loudly. Do it strongly. Do it elaborately. Let your voice be heard among the crowd. Let your voice be distinct among the multitudes. Somebody do that again. If you can, will you wave your hand as you pray? Come on. The Holy Ghost is coming down afresh upon someone tonight. Thank you, 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 Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Shout Holy Ghost field, amen. Three core mission of the Holy Ghost are to us tonight. You may want to pray about anyone or all of it specifically. The Holy Ghost is the one who reveals God's plan for your life. May you not run another man's plan. May you not like another man's plan. May God reveal to you his plan for your life. Two, we are to pray to receive continuous strength. Strength to stay on. So me, I will stay on. Uh -huh. Strength never to give up. Strength not to look to the right, to the left, to the back. Strength to look to Jesus. He said he shall not be weary, he shall not be discouraged because of the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. And number three, empowerment for living your life. You have to come tonight just in one minute prayer or one or two is your voice. Holy Ghost, reveal your plan to me. Reveal your Jesus said, he shall receive of me and he shall show to you. The Holy Ghost is the custodian. The Holy Ghost is the intermediary. The Holy Ghost is the one who helps us not only to discover but to deliver the plan of God. Somebody pray. Are you praying for self? Never to give up. Never to look to the back. Oh, yes. To the right, to the left, but to maintain focus. Now you may wish to lift up your voice again. Connect the supernatural right now. That language he gave to you is for your supernatural connection. So that you will no longer suffer weakness in your body. But experience life and light. Come on, everybody. Raise your voice and pray. Do it very loud. Do it very strong. Oh my God. Ayala, Anoda, Namada, Galato, Tashigla, Krentaptoza, Mamrolo Sakta, Ayo Shaktanaya, renewal of strength for you and me. In the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Shout again, Holy Ghost field, Amen. amen. Now the communion is before us. 1 John chapter 5, verse 8. There are three that bear witness in hearth. The Holy Spirit. The water, which is the word. And the blood. The water, which is the word, which is the body of Jesus. So we are having three combined forces here tonight. Say loud, amen. amen. The Holy Ghost works through the blood. 
How much more shall the blood of Jesus, which is offered by eternal spirit, cleanse and purge you from all fitness to serve the living God? The blood. The Holy Ghost walking through it. The spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, quicken your mortal body. The blood cannot be separated from the spirit. The spirit in the word. The word which I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. And Jesus said, I am the word. And he said, I am the bread of life. So everything is inside it. So the word is here. The spirit is here. The blood is here. Whatever made Jesus to live in nature is at work here. Whatever made Jesus to be seated know the will of God per time is here tonight. Amen. You will no longer suffer misguidance in your life. Amen. You will no longer be misled in your life. Amen. Every day you'll be hearing God's voice speak to you. Amen. Every moment you'll know what to do for your victory and trial. Amen. Again, don't forget, praying in the language of the Holy Spirit is trigger to the ears of the Holy Spirit. Pray in his language and then he will hear you and come speedily. As I take the communion tonight, Holy Spirit, be at work. Quicken me, energize me, empower me, enlighten me, open my eyes to see the things you are revealing to me. Pray that prayer right now. Somebody raise your voice some more. As you pray that prayer, pray like a desperate man, like a man who really wants to connect with the power of the Holy Ghost, like a man who is receiving healing, like a man whose body is getting quickened right now, like a man whose mind is getting enlightened. Like a man whose eyes are being opened tonight to see what the Lord is showing. The Lord, the Holy Spirit. The Lord, our helper. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. In Jesus' wonderful name. From this communion table tonight, somebody is climbing this altar on Sunday to share his testimony. I'm glad you know you are the one. I'm glad you know you are the one. Let there be a witness with a louder shout. Now, this communion table is blessed. Amen. Administer to this assembly in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you take this communion tonight, there's a quickening power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the power of the blood of Jesus and the word of God. Amen. All of your heart's desire receiving fulfillment. Amen. In Jesus' glorious name. Amen. Get seated and take your portion upon which you get exact. Sing aloud, sing joyfully as the choir lead us, giving glory and praise to our King. Let's go choir. God bless you. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let
pray again in the language of the Holy Ghost. Don't be tired of doing it. That's the language you can use without being tired. Nobody prays in the Holy Ghost and get tired. You don't get tired praying in that language. Raise your voice some more. Pray some more in that language. Somebody raise your voice, raise your hand. Get a fresh outpouring. Get a fresh outpouring. Get a new dimension of the Holy Ghost. Get drunk in 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 the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen. Lift up your hands, please. Go. This second half of the week that you are stepping into is bringing you greater triumph. Amen. Greater glory. Amen. Greater honor. Amen. Greater dignity. Everything turning into double dimension before the week runs out. In the name of Jesus. The outreaches this week shall be most productive. Most fulfilling. Most rewarding. As souls are getting saved, your rewards are flocking in. Be blessed. You will testify. In Jesus' wonderful name. Lift up your hand again and give glory to God. None worthy as our God.